What is up guys? Welcome back to the freaking channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, we are out here on the lake and we are gonna talk about how to bleed a fish, okay? Bleeding your fish improves the quality of the meat as it sits in your cooler, your ice box, or your fish bag over the period of the day. Um, you always wanna bleed a fish while transporting it back to your house. So when you do fillet it out or you do clean the fish, you know, there's no stagnant blood in that fish. So it actually improves the quality of your meat and the flavor of that meat. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we just caught into a really nice rainbow trout. Um, probably one of the better ones that I've actually caught on this lake. Um, usually there's a lot of stalker trout. Um, and their fins are beat up. As you can see, this one's fins are really not that beat up. I mean, you got a little beat up here on the front, but it's not a bad little stalker trout. I mean, so I'm gonna take it home and uh, we're gonna flay it up and we're gonna eat it. But first, what everybody should be doing with their fish before they're putting them in their cooler or hanging them off the side of the boat is bleeding this fish, okay? And what we're gonna do in today's episode is we're gonna cut into this fish a little bit, we're gonna bleed it, and what bleeding does for the fish and the meat, it, it actually removes all the blood and it drains all the blood out of its veins throughout its gills and it's gonna make that meat taste a lot better. You don't have that blood coagulating, drying up, or just getting old, just having stale old blood in the fish as you continue to fish throughout the day. So we're gonna go down here to the cutting board on the boat here. We're gonna grab our fillet knife, okay, just like so. If you can see here under the gill plate like this, okay, under the gills you have, under the gill plate you have the gills, okay. And all we're gonna do is take our fillet knife and we are gonna cut just like that. Follow the half moon. Okay, just like that. And we're just gonna take these gills, just like so, and we're gonna toss them overboard, okay? Just like so. I'm gonna finish cutting these ones out. Okay, just like that. See, gill list. Then we're gonna flip it over. See the blood on the back of my hand, guys? That means it's working, okay? Grab it, I'm gonna cut these gills out. Follow the half moon shape up okay just like that I'm gonna throw those gills overboard scrape them out a little bit there we go throw them overboard now gillless okay on both sides now we have successfully bled this fish out all the gills are gone we're gonna put it in the water okay I'm just gonna hang this over the side here I'm gonna swish it in the water a few times. Okay, just like that. Get all the water off of it. Now, that fish is gonna bleed out just like so. You're gonna have no blood. You're gonna have no blood remaining in the meat of this fish for when you get home and fillet it out and cook it, okay? You're gonna have a 100% better tasting fillets. This is tried and true, it's proven, it's been tested, so hey. Thank you guys so much for watching Walking on Water in this how-to video on how to bleed a fish. I will see you guys in the next one. Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this how-to episode of Walking on Water. How to bleed a fish properly. It's really important for that quality of meat, guys. Always bleed your fish. Good luck next time out there on the water. I hope you guys bonk some so you can bleed them, take them home and share them with your family. Like, subscribe, and share. We will see you in the next one.